Hi guys, this is Tekken57. Welcome to this tutorial on how to quickly create animations for WWE 2K19 without having to do any kind of sculpting. Uh, I was recently asked this question by a 2K19 model and I devised a workflow which will help you to quickly create animations. Importantly, before you do any kind of exporting from uh, X-Ray, you need to ensure that all of the uh, options are set as follows. You need to ensure that the rotate model on export is set to false. Adjust UV uh, axis should also be set to false. Use actual mesh name should also be set to false. Now these options will only appear if you are using X-Ray 5. If you are using X-Ray 4, you won't have these options, so you don't need to worry about this. Okay, so firstly what we want to do is open up your base model that you are rigging to. So in this case, I have uh, John Cena. This is his 2K19 model. With his 2K19 model Y object open, we're going to right click on the object zero and we're going to select load animations 2K18 upwards. Because this is going to load all of the animations for John Cena. Okay, you can double click this to check. All right. So what we are going to do is we're going to copy these animations onto uh, one of your custom sculpts. Now the custom sculpt that you're using must have the same type of UV position as the 2K19 models. So if you are backporting models from 2K20 to 2K24, uh, or if you've used um, a wrap uh, 3D to wrap a custom model to take the same UV position as a 2K19 model, then this method will work for you. Okay, so now that we have all the animations open, we're going to click on Export All. And we're going to select a directory in which to put the animations in. I have a directory called Anims. And you just put this in there and you hit Select Folder. Okay, this will export all of the animations from uh, John Cena's model. Okay, then after we are going to open up Blender. Okay, with Blender open, we're going to delete this cube. And we're going to go into File. Import, Wave Front. Okay, and we're going to paste the part into um, the part at the top. Okay, firstly, we're just going to import NM0. Importantly, you need to select Keep Vert Order so it doesn't mess up the order of the vertices of the UVs. And we click on Import Object. Okay, so now that we have NM0 imported, I'm going to create a new collection. So I'm going to click on New and I'm going to put the uh, animations in there. This is just going to make it easy to us to hide the animations later on. So I'm going to click on File, Import, and I have a Batch Wavefront uh, Importer plugin. So I'll click on File, Import, Wavefront Batch. I'm going to select all of the anims except anim0. And the same thing, keep word order and click on Import Multiple Objects. Okay, so this will import all of the uh, animations for John Cena. I'm just going to hide this for now. All right, so now we're going to go to the uh, Anim0. So now we're going to go to Anim0. And I'm going to go to the uh, Shape Keys uh, tab. I'm going to click on Plus. Just to create a basis, which is your base um, mesh without any, any animations. Then I'm going to go and select all of the animations that we have imported. So I'm going to select the first and I'm going to go all the way down and I'm going to click on the shift key. Okay, with all the animations selected, I'm going to click on, I'm going to hold the control key and I'm going to select anim0. Okay, it's important that you do this in this order. That is, select your animations first and then select anim0. So with everything selected, you're going to go into the options, which is the downward facing arrow, and you click on join as shapes. Okay, this will import all of the animations, uh, shape keys, into uh, Anim0. Okay, so now we can go and hide all of these animations at the top. Um, we don't really need them anymore. Now with Anim0, you can, if you just want to make sure that you have uh, the animations imported correctly, you can select any of these, go into the scene and press the tab key, and you'll notice that the model is now animated. All right, so now you have prepared your base model. 
for uh, copying the animations to your custom model. So at this point in time, it's a good idea to save the scene. So you can save it under whatever name you want. And uh, in future, you can uh, use this scene as a basis uh, for copying the animations in future. So you don't need to repeat this process of importing the animations, etc. <coughs> okay, so now I'm going to import the head of the custom model that I want to copy the animations to. So in this instance, I've got um, a, a Perry Saturn mod that I have uh, created for 2K19. Okay, I'm going to open up uh, this model, so I'm going to click on Control N in um, X-Ray, and I'm going to ensure that I um, select uh, the Perry Saturn model. Okay. Okay. Now that I have the Perry Saturn model loaded, I'm going to right click and I'm going to um, uh, go into Load Animations 2K18 upwards. Okay, and the only thing we want from here is the Anim Zero. So I'm going to click on Export, and I'm going to put it into a folder. I've got a folder called Anim's 2K19. I'm just going to copy this as well. We're going to need this later, and I'm going to click Save. All right, so now we go into um, Blender and we import that Anim Zero file. Okay, so we go into Wavefront Object. I'm just going to paste that in there. Okay, and also again ensure that you have keep word order selected. Okay, so now we have the Perry Saturn model. Now importantly, before we do any of this, we are copying the animations based on the UV position. So you must ensure that the UV position of both the heads are the same. So with the Perry Saturn model, let's just check where where the UV position is. So with the model selected, go into UV editing, and you can see this is. Uh, two levels below the uh, square block. All right, let's check where the John Cena um, UV is. And this is one level below the square block. Okay, so we need to move the UV up. So with the uh, Perry Saturn model selected, we go into UV editing. You press the A key, G key, Y key, and then you press one to move this one level up. And then you press enter. Okay, so now this has moved the UVs to the correct position. So this UV position matches the UV position of John Cena's model. Okay, so now we are ready to copy the animations from the John Cena model. So for the purpose of that, I'm using a plugin called Mesh Data Transfer. I will post the link in the description below. So this should be installed into Blender before we start this process. If you haven't, you can install it, save the scene, install it, and then restart Blender if you don't have this plugin installed already. Okay, I'm using Mesh Data Transfer, and we are now going to copy the uh, animations using this plugin. So you want to copy this based on UV, so we're going to select Active UV. The source of the animations is going to be the John Cena model, so we're going to select the John Cena model. And then we're going to click on Transfer Shape Keys. Okay, so we can hide the John Cena model, and now I can go into the Shape Keys tab of uh, my custom model. And if I check in the scene by hitting the tab button, you'll see that the animations have been applied. OK, so now we have the animations. And now we need to export all of these shape keys so that they can be imported into X-Ray. So for this purpose, I have created a script to do exactly that. So we're going to go into the scripting tab. And we're going to click on Open. OK, I have included the script below, which is Blender Export Shape Keys. Py. Okay, so the only thing you need to change here is where you want to export your animations to. So I'm just going to copy the part that we have created in our mod folder. I'm just going to put that in there. And I'm just going to change these backslashes to forward slashes because the Python does not like uh, backslashes. All right. Also, make sure you don't have a forward slash at the end. Okay, at this point, I'm just going to hit save as well. So control S. So your scene is saved, and we are ready to export. So before you run the script, just make sure that you have the Perry Saturn head selected, not the John Cena head. Okay, go into scripting, and then we click on the run script button. 
Okay, so now this is going to create the animations um, one by one using each of the shape keys as a separate object file. So if I go into the Perisatin uh, animation folder, you'll see that all of the animations have been created as separate object files. So now we are ready to import this into the uh, Perisatin custom model that I've created. So we go back into um, X-Ray and we click on Inject All Animations. We have the directory selected where we've um, created the animations and we click on select folder. All right, so now this should have all of the animations that we've created loaded into the model. So let's check it out. Okay, as you can see, the animations have been imported successfully. Okay, so this model can now be imported into 2K19 uh, with fully uh, custom animations which you've imported from your base model. Now one important thing that you should remember is that uh, some base models have a different order of animations. Uh, most of them have the same order. So John Cena, The Rock, etc. have the same order. You'll find a couple of exceptions like uh, Sting's base model have a different order of animations. So sometimes uh, uh, 45 would be mouth open, whereas with Sting, a different number would be mouth open. So if you're using a different base model, sometimes you need to use that base model's animations to do this process rather than using John Cena. But 90% of the time, the John Cena base model will work for any of the mods that you're working. And finally, like I mentioned, this will only work if the UV positions are the same uh, as the uh, 2K19 models. So if you are building a fully custom head, you will need to use something like Wrap 3D. So watch out for a tutorial that I will be creating on how to do this. All right, that brings an end to the tutorial for today. I hope this has been helpful to you. And until next time, happy modding.